Not poor anymore. The dog, I mean. Look. Just doesn't want to be there. No, 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 no. And look at the state of this unkempt animal. Matted and dirty and uncombed. How many animals has Missy Moo got? Too many. Because she can't look after them. Look at the state. Poor baby. And here we have Mr Moo. I've turned the sound down because it's not worth listening to. Missy Moo and Mr Moo. He must be so proud of his wife doxing people and bullying people. P-O-S. Mr Moo, I wonder if your details are available. I bet you they are with a little bit of uh, investigative work, eh? How do you like that? How do you like that? And you can blame the thing standing next to you. Okay. And she's all made up with nowhere to go. You can't really see properly, but her teeth are a very similar colour to Chantal's. A sort of nice shade of ochre, I think. She needs to wear a yellow blouse to match them. Very nice indeed. Wonder what your breath smells like. Nice, minty. Mm. And here's another poor animal. You can't even tell whether it's a cat or whether it's a dog. Look at that matted fur. Dirty, matted, greasy fur. Absolute disgrace. And here she is again. I bet she's talking about Chantal. That's the usual subject. Actually, you know, Missy Moo, you look a lot better filming in the dark than you do with the uh, bright lights. It sort of hides a lot. Mm. Oh my gosh, and you remind me of somebody who I know. Not a very nice person, a person with problems, and you remind me of her. Yes, you do. Except a bigger version. A more you're a more exaggerated version. A more dangerous version. I know what you're doing. The love nest of Mrs. Moo and Mr. Moo. It's filled with birds, got an aviary in there. Birds, dogs, dirty bedding. Oh my goodness. Imagine the scent, or should I say stench. The dogs are rolling and wiggling because they're itchy. Look, they're scratching themselves like crazy. They've probably got fleas. It's such a bloody shame. It really is. 